everybody. <clears throat> okay, so um, it's been about five days since I did my last recording, and um, a lot has happened. This is my second recording, so I was more enthusiastic in the first one, so sorry. <laughs> and it's after work. Whatever. So, um, and I just had dinner. I had um, soy taco meat. It had a little bit of corn, some salsa. I had, um, I put pepper jack dea cheese, which is a vegan cheese. It melts when it's like normal. It seems like normal cheese. Um, and then I put some lettuce on there, some fresh cut tomatoes, a little bit of pepper, some, uh, and some avocado. It was really good. It was kind of like a taco salad. Um, and I'm trying to limit my carbs because I realized, well, I went to the dermatologist. It was actually a really good experience. Um, I went to the dermatologist, and he was telling me that my, uh, my case was really interesting because I have been vegetarian since a very young age and recently started to go vegan. And I told him I have noticed a difference in my skin, actually, since going vegan. Um, it's cleared up a lot. I mean, I obviously still have some pimples here and there. But uh, it's not anything that's too excruciating. Because um, it is something that, like, this area especially gets really, really inflamed. Uh, which is another reason why I'm so conscious about my health. And not to mention that on both sides of my family, I, um, I have diabetes. So I'm predisposed to it. I don't have it. It's always right here. I'm just kind of like flirting with it, you know. Um, so he was also telling me that because of my because of uh, my predisposition to diabetes, um, when I eat carbs, regardless of the fact that they're com car complex carbohydrates like quinoa or steel-cut oatmeal or brown rice your insulin still goes high. And somewhere in there, um, your skin gets a reaction to it and kind of goes into a panic mode, and which is why you can get acne as well. So that uh, was a bummer to find out because, you know, I feel like sometimes no matter how hard I try, um, because I have diabetes on both sides of my family, um, I feel... I'm not defeated, but I feel like I really have to take care of myself because if I don't, I mean, I could I could end up with diabetes. And I don't know if you've ever seen anybody who has had everybody. I think everyone knows someone who's had diabetes before, and um, it's really horrible to see something someone you love go through that. So, uh, sorry, I'm getting all emotional. <laughs> Probably, uh, you know, another reason, just another one. I have so many reasons why I'm, you know, on this whole health kick or whatever. And I, why I live the way that I do because, because um, I want to live a healthy life and I want to be happy. And um, when you're healthy and you're happy, it makes those around you want to be healthy and happy. So, uh, yeah, that was a really good experience talking with that doctor because he, he sat with me for like an hour and um, I'm just thinking about things differently. So he told me uh, to eat most of my carbs early in the morning and um, then later on in the day have like a, a larger amount of protein at night. And being vegan or vegetarian, it's very difficult to get protein. I mean, if I was eating the way I was before, I would have had like he said I need the equivalent of about five egg whites a day in order to be able to have the correct amount of protein. Well, guess what? Eating vegan, you can't have egg whites, so which is why I'm having stuff like the soy taco meat um, and just more soy protein. There are other types of protein that you can get, like a seitan, which is a wheat meat, um, but then again, it's wheat that raises your insulin or your blood sugar levels, so that's something that you have to be conscious of. I never would have thought that that would have tied into my uh, to my acne. It's really bizarre, but it it was a really big eye opener. So for those of you out there who are eating vegan or vegetarian and you're loading up on the carbs, like really, really be careful. Um, 
something you have something that you have to be very conscious of. So on the upside of things, my skin's clearing up. I've lost some weight. Um, I don't know. You can probably see my collarbone. Can you see it? Yeah, check that out. Oh, here comes my cat. Say hi, Steven. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Anyway. And I'm going to make a chai tea latte. Mmm. Yummy. But the latte, it's going to be almond milk, so it's going to be delicious. Um, and this back here, in case you were wondering, is my blow dryer. My lovely blow dryer. Um, it was my grandfather's. I miss you, Grandpa. Anyway. Okay, well, uh, that's it for this video. And if you have any questions, comments, any suggestions, please let me know, okay? Have a great day.